inaendeshwa kwa mafanikio na iko ISO accredited imeshapokea tuzo za aina mbalimbali imeshiriki miradi mbalimbali naomba niwasilishe mwakilishi wa kampuni ya Interconsult Limited kwa ajili ya kupokea tuzo ya Interconsult Limited kama kampuni ya binafsi iliyo tukuka kwa miaka hamsini. Yeah, so um, as for the foreign delegates, what is going on now is the award in recognition of uh, those who contributed to the development of the country in one way or another, in their own capacities or uh, as uh, organizations, both public and private sector. That's what is going on, and uh, it's very exciting. You see uh, very senior engineers, and they are our role models, please. Also, let me inform you that uh, the live stream, st uh, streaming is going on, so this could be seen uh, through the ERB website. For those who would like to view it, or send it to their uh, friends to view what is going on now live. Thank you. He is live when he is streamed on the ERB website. Thank you. Asante sana. Tuzo inazo fuata zinaitua Award of Special Recognitions. Tungependa kutambua mchango wa watu walio, walio shiriki kufanikisha uandisi ndani ya meka msini. Kwanza ni alie kuwa mwenye kiti wa kwanza wa bodi. Hayati engineer Ainemensa Mbuya. Tunaomba kuwasilisha tuzo kwa familia yake kama kumbu kumbu ya ushiriki wake katika ufanikisha miaka msini ya bodi. Naomba familia ya Ainemensa Mbuya. Wa Watoto wake nimeambia walikuwa wa watoto wawili walikuwa wa, waje mwingine aliyekuwa msajili wa kwanza wa bodi ya usajili wa uandisi wakati naanzishwa Mr. Frederick K. Burengero Marehemu tunaomba familia yake ijepokee tuzo kwa niaba yake Wawakilishi wa familia ze Burengero yule pale karibu Mwandisi inafanya kazi pamoja na taruma nyingine wakiwemo architect and kwanza surveyors. Tunapenda kutambua taruma ambazo wame, wame shirikiana na wandisi kwa kiasi kubwa na wamefanya kazi na mpaka wame, wamekua wamevuka kiwango. Tunatambua mchango wa architect Anthony Almeida. Sina wakika kama yupo, nimeambiwa kuna mtu atampoke, mwasa ndube atampokelea, atampokelea kwa niaba. Anepokea tuzo ya architect Anthony Almeida. Na vile vile QSC Samuel Uronu ni maremu, tunaomba wa kilishu wake waje wa pokea tuzo kwa niaba yake.
mwakilishi wa QS Samuel Uronu uko hapa vuta sawa sawa karibu Tumeambiwa architect Anthony Almeida ana umri wa zaidi ya miaka 90 anaumwa miguu asingeweza kufika lakini amepata taarifa atawasilishwa tuzo yake Tuzo inayofuata ya utambuzi itatolewa kwa taasisi ambayo imetia fora imeshikwa kikamilifu ku support uandisi ndani ya miaka hamsini nayo sio nyingine ni College of Engineering and Technology atakuja vice principal wa college and engineering dr hani bobwiro atapokea kwa niaba ya ya coet ya utambuzi kwa kampuni ambayo imefanya vizuri kwenye kazi za uandisi na hasa upande wa ukandarasi inatolewa kwa kampuni ya Estimu Construction Company Limited. Naomba mwakilishi wa Estimu Construction Company Limited aje apokee tuzo kwa niaba. inaofuata inatolewa kwa taasisi ya kimataifa taasisi mbalimbali za kimataifa zilizo shiriki kwenye kazi za uandisi taasisi ambazo zimeshiriki kwenye kazi za ujenzi wa barabara kazi za ku support engineering education naomba ziko taasisi tisa naomba niite moja baada ya nyingine nikianza na the royal norwegian government for supporting internship for female engineers please you are welcome to receive your Fuata ni the World Bank Tanzanian chapter for supporting sasa hivi World Bank imetoa financing ya 2.2 million US dollars kwa ajili ya internship ya young engineers engineer mchomvu karibu chukue kwa niaba ya World Bank The next award is to the Danish government through Danida for supporting various engineering projects. Please representative from Danida. Ajaweza kufika. The award will be presented to them. The next the next institution is Jaika. Any representative from Jaika? The next institution is Koika for South Korean government. GTZ AFDB. Yupo engineer Mary Ellen Minja. 
head of transport section wa FDB. institution is the U.S. United States of America through USAID. Any representative from USAID? The next one is United Kingdom through DFID. Please, Engineer Amanda Duff. Please. ndio mwisho wa tuzo santeni una una mwakilisha USAID as karibu karibu yes uh, now a round of applause please to all who received the prizes it is our culture after presentation of awards, we always celebrate a little bit. And in the village, maybe with a dance. Uh, I hope the band is ready. Uh, please raise for the celebrations. Thank you. And uh, today is our day. 50 years is something. We have, to be, we have to be happy, we have to celebrate. So if you feel like moving a little bit, shaking a bit, do that. Because we have been sitting for long, and even the blood circulation is not really doing fine. Tumekaa sana, tupati burudani kidogo, alafu sasa ndo tuendele na awamu inoyo fuata, kama ratiba inavu wainisha, ambayo ni kumsikiliza uh, kupata na saha, kupata otuba kutoka kwa mgeni rasmi. <mulia>
put your hands together for the music band. They did very well. Wamefanya mzuri sana. Music mzuri na pia ujumbe mzito sana. Nisema kwamba streaming inaendelea na tupo live kwenye www.engineersday.engineersday.co.tz www.engineersday one word engineersday.co.tz we are live there please let up pia kuangalia wahandisi naomba turejee tuendelee na shughuli yetu na wakati huo huo sasa kwa heshima na taadhima naomba nikukaribishe msajili ili aweze kuongoza kuzinduzi wa hadisi house na baada ya hapo pia ni mume moja kwa moja aendelee na utaratibu unaofuata kwenye ratiba ambao ni kufuata protocols zinazotakiwa katika kukaribisha mgeni rasmi ili aweze kuzungumza nasi wakati huo ashas naomba muwarejeshe eh, wa hadisi waliokuwa nje ladies and gentlemen um, we are continuing with our program and the next event as indicated uh, on the program is uh, launch of the uh, Hannes House. Um, be calling to the podium the registrar who will uh, lead uh, the act of the inauguration and at the same time uh, following two protocols to invite the guest of honor to talk with the engineering fraternity present uh, in this hall. Engineers, please uh, be ethical and come back timely. Marshals, assist please in uh, moving back the engineers. I know you are deliberating, you are discussing what has transpired, but still there is more to come, which is even more interesting. The registrar, kindly take the photo. Sante. Bodi ya usajiri wa wandisi katika kusherekea miaka msini. Kwa kweli ni haibu sana sisi kama wandisi. Tunajenga majengo, tunajenga mabalabala, tunafanya shukini kine. Lakini hatuna jengo letu. Si, si, si dhani kama ni, ni picha nzuri sana. Kwa hiyo katika kutafakari hiyo, bodi imesha afanya preliminare preparations na tumesha pata proti dodoma nyuma ya jengo la CCM ambalo ndio jengo la gorofa 11 ambalo litaitwa mwandisi sasa jengo lakini sio jengo la ofisi jengo litakao linaitwa kwa ajili ya innovation tunataka vijana wadogo wanao maisha jukuu tutakuwa tunatoa nafasi kwa vijana wanao maisha jukuu waje na ubunifu vijana wa, wa specialization zote nani engineers civil engineers, chemical engineers waje na shughuli za ubunifu tumepata sehemu ya eka eka elfu sitini kumini siku ya mita elfu sitini eneo la nara kule kudoma eneo kuma tunajenga workshops kwa wajiri ya ubunifu mtu yoyote aneta kuhuni gari aneta kuhuni lege aneta kuhuni chochote tutawakarimisha wa watumie hizo center hili wafanyo ubunifu
naanzisha senta ya innovation kama nilisema kule Nara Godoma lakini la nne muhimu kuna miaka 50 nimetosha kwamba waandishi sisi tunatupa wa kutosha makampuni ya kwanza ya Tanzania wanataka kuendeleza kwanza Januari oni tandaa series ya capacity building courses kwa ajili ya wazazi wenu ili tuweze kupata uwezo kufanya miradi yote ya Tanzania na kuchukua sensi na basi naomba nikakishe kwenye kitu wa bodi ili awatakishe wageni wote kutoka nje ya nchi
leaders who have come around to support you, and we'll be looking upon you to see what we can do for our own various countries to promote engineering. Now, secondly, we want our leaders in Africa to ensure that engineering is given the most important spot that it deserves in the operations of a nation. They say a nation without engineers is a nation that will not develop. How do we do this? We must retain our engineers when we train them from the university and when they come to work. We must therefore put engineering where they belongs. We see now in, this, in various countries in Africa, there's a lot of brain drain in engineering, from engineering to, to accounting to banking and other areas. This is because they feel that they want to earn a little bit more in those areas. Our appeal to our governments in Africa, if we are going to develop our engineers, we must be able to give them the, the, the support that they deserve so that they can continue building our infrastructure. We also want to appeal to our governments to ensure that our training programs are enhanced and we direct our efforts to all those areas that need the development of our continent. Finally, for you engineers, I want to appeal to you. We don't have a lot of resources as a continent, but the resources that are given to us to implement various projects for the development of care of our countries, let us use it with all the honesty that, we deserve, that is deserved. Let us be follow a code of ethics. Let us use every penny that you are given by our government for infrastructure development and for other development for the benefit of our citizens across Africa. Also, let us finally ensure that uh, we support the young engineers that are coming up. I was very happy to see some of our old engineers that started this institution are still here with us today. I appeal to the old engineers who are here, make sure that you have got one, two, or three, or four in terms to take care of in your various places. That way we are going to grow the profession in Africa. On those few remarks, therefore, I want once again to thank the engineers here at of Tanzania and all of you for inviting us here as delegates from Africa. We bring our greetings from our various institutions and of our various engineers. And to remind you that on seven, from 17 to 21st of September this year, all the engineers in Africa are meeting in Mombasa to celebrate the fifth African Engineering Week and the third African Engineering Conference. We'll be looking at the exploitation of our marine resources that we have in this particular continent, what we call the blue economy. Please come and join us in Mombasa from those particular dates so that we can together put our hands together to see how can we use the vast resources that are available in our oceans in this particular continent to extend the development of our economies. I thank you and may God bless you. I wish you a very good conference. Asante sana injia riungu. Mwishimu ongeni rasmi ni kwa Ndeta sasa Mungaribisha na ibu waziri Mwishimiwa Elias Kwandikwa Awezi kukaribisha wewe Kuhogea Na wahadisi Kadu sana Na ibu waziri Mwishimiwa Balozi Mhandis John William Kijazi Katibu Mkuu Kiongozi Mwishimiwa Kunge Mlioko Dr. Leonard Chambrilo Katibu Mkuu Wizara ya Ujenzi Uchukuzi na Mawasiliano Sekta ya Uchukuzi Mwishimiwa Makatibu wa Kuu Mlioko Manaibu Katibu wa Kuu Mwishimiwa Makatibu Tawala wa Mikoa Mlioko Mwishimu mwenikitu wa bodi ya usajiri wa wahandisi, ijinea, profesa, ijinea tukulema. Mwishimu wa mabalozi, mlioko, manaibu wa mabalozi. Mwenikitu wa bodi ya usajiri wa makandaras, ijinea kontonata, sijakuona. Mwishimu wa 
mwenyekiti wa bodi ya usajili wa wabunifu majengo na wakatiliaji majenzi Dr. Ludigita Mulamile wajumbe wa bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi Engineer Patrick Barozi kaimu msajili wa bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi ya Rabi Engineer Nguisa Mpembe rais wa taasisi wa wahandisi wageni wetu kutoka nje ya nchi jumuiya ya wahandisi wadau wetu wa maendeleo wahandisi wote wa mkutano huu waandishi wa habari wageni waalikwa mabibi na mabwana mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi awali ya yote ninaomba nikushukuru sana kwa kukubali mwaliko wetu kwa kuwa mgeni rasmi katika hafla ya ufunguzi wa mkutano wa 16 wa mwaka wa handisi na maadhimisho ya miaka hamsini ya kuanzishwa kwa bodi ya usajili wa handisi Tanzania ya Rabi pamoja na shughuli nyingi ulizonazo umekubali kutenga muda wako kuja kujumuika nasi hii ni heshima kubwa kwetu sote na inadhihirisha jinsi ulivyowathamini wa handisi na fani ya wa handisi kwa ujumla tunakushukuru sana Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi leo ni siku muhimu sana katika kalenda ya matukio ya, matuki ya mwaka wa handisi hapa nchini ambapo wahandisi hupata fursa ya kukutana kwa lengo la kujifunza kujikumbusha kubadilishana uzoefu kuhusu shughuli zao za kila siku pamoja na kufahamiana aidha umuhimu wa pekee katika mkutano wa mwaka huu ni kwamba unajumuisha maadhimisho ya miaka hamsini ya kuanzishwa bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi Tanzania ambapo shughuli mbalimbali za kihandisi zimetekelezwa Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi Napenda pia nielezee furaha yangu kwa kuona idadi kubwa ya washiriki waliopo mahali hapa. Hiki ni kielezo tosha cha jinsi ambavyo wahandisi wa Tanzania wanathamini tukio hili. Nichukue fursa hii kuwashukuru washiriki wote kwa kuja kuhudhuria sherehe hii kubwa na muhimu. Uwepo wa kila mmoja wenu unathaminiwa sana. Aidha natoa shukrani zangu za dhati kwa wageni waalikwa waliotoka nje ya nchi kwa kuitika mwaliko wetu na kujumuka pamoja nasi na nina furaha kusema karibuni sana Tanzania na mjisikie mko nyumbani Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi maadhimisho haya yameandaliwa na bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi kwa kushikiana wadau mbalimbali wanaonufaika na huduma za wahandisi na ungana na mwenyekiti wa bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi kuishukuru kamati ya maandalizi na wadau wote waliochangia kwa njia moja au nyingine kufanikisha shughuli hii ya kihistoria. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi. Kauli mbiu ya maadhimisho yasherehekea miaka hamsini ya kuanzishwa kwa bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi ni miaka hamsini ya michango ya wahandisi katika maendeleo ya taifa letu, mafanikio, changamoto na malengo ya baadaye. Kupitia mkutano huu wahandisi watachambua hatua iliyofikiwa na sekta mbalimbali na uchangia ukuaji wa uchumi nchini. Aidha washiriki watachambua changamoto zoko na mikakati ya kubali, ya kukabiliana na changamoto hizo kupitia taaluma ya uhandisi. Michango ya uhandisi itajikita katika maeneo yafuatayo. Moja, viwanda na miundombinu. Ikihusisha viwanda, utandawazi, miundombinu ya maji, nishati, kilimo, ujenzi, uchukuzi na mawasiliano. Bili, kujenga uwezo wa kihandisi tatu maendeleo ya nishati na rasmali za asili nne masuala ya kimazingira usalama na afya na matumizi ya tayama katika elimu mafunzo na kazi Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi baada ya uzinduzi wa maadhimisho ya miaka hamsini uliyofanyika tarehe 24 Mei mwaka 2018 kidogo ya salamu shughuli mbalimbali ziliendelea kufanyika katika kanda zote nchini Maadhimisho hayo yalifanyika kwa mafanikio makubwa katika kanda ya Kusini, yani Mtwara, kanda ya Kati, Dodoma, kanda ya Kaskazini, Arusha, kanda ya Ziwa, Mwanza. Shughuli zilizofanyika ni pamoja na kuhamasisha na kuendele na, kuele, na kuelezea shughuli mbalimbali za kihandisi zinazofanyika katika kipindi cha miaka hamsini iliyopita. Shughuli zinazoendelea 
na mipango iliyopo ya kufanikisha azma ya kuchangia maendeleo ya kiuchumi hapa nchini. Aidha njia mbada ya zitumika kuhamasisha wanafunzi wa sekondari wa uhandisi waliopo vioni ili waendelee kupenda na kuona kuwa masomo ya sasa na uhandisi ya na umimu wa kipekee katika ajira zao na maendeleo ya nchi wa ujumla. Mwishimua mgini rasimi, katika kipindi cha miaka hamsini iliyopita nchi yetu imepata mafarikio makubwa katika utekezaji kwa miradi mbalimbali ya kiandisi ambapo tumeshuhudia ongezeko kubwa katika uendelezaji wa miundo mbili mbalimbali ikiwemo mtandao wa barabara, majengo ya kisasa, ujenzi wa viwanda, leli, miradi ya umeme, madaraja, ujenzi wa viwanja vya ndege, miradi ya mwagiliaji, ufanisi wa bandari zetu e, na, na mambo kadha wa kadha. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi, jumuiya ya hadisi imepiga hatua kubwa sasa tangu tupate uhuru ile tarehe 9 Disemba mwaka 2021 hadi kufikia mwezi Agosti 2018 wahandisi nchini waliosajiliwa walikuwa zaidi ya 122226 ikilinganishwa na wahandisi wawili mwaka 2061 kati ya wahandisi hao waliosajiliwa wahandisi wanawake ni 2235 sawa na 10.05 mheshimiwa mgendasi Wizara ya Ujenzi uchukuzi na mawasiliano kupitia bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi imekuwa ikichukua hatua kwa wahandisi na makampuni ya kihandisi yanayokiuka e, maadili ya kazi zao. Hadi sasa bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi imewafikia usajili wa wahandisi wapatao 458 na makampuni ya ushauri wa kihandisi 52 kwa kutofuata maadili. Mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi, ili kuhakikisha kuwa idadi ya wahandisi inaongezeka na kuendana na kasi ya maendeleo ya viwanda na ujenzi wa miundombinu serikali imeendelea kusomesha wahandisi wa fani mbalimbali hivi sasa tuna tuna viwo visipungue 14 vinavyofundisha wahandisi na kutoa wahandisi wa itimu wapatayo wastani ya mbili kila mwaka haya ni mafanikio makubwa sana yanayopatikana tangu nchi yetu ipate uhuru mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi moja ya mikakati ya kuongeza ushiriki na ufanisi wa wahandisi katika ujenzi wa taifa ni kuongeza idadi ya wahandisi wa taala na ni professional engineers katika kila mkutano wa mwaka wa wahandisi wizara imekuwa ikisisitiza kuhusu muhimu wa wadau wote kuiwezesha bodi ya usajili wa wahandisi kuendelea kuendeleza wahandisi nchini kwa upande wa serikali katika mwaka wa fedha 2018 wizara ya ujenzi na mawasiliano imetenga jumla ya shiriki milioni 3 kuendeleza mpango wa structured engineers apprenticeship program SEAP ili kuwezesha wahandisi wa HM kufanya mafunzo kwa vitendo na hatimaye kusaidia kwa mkoa wa wahandisi wa taala mpango huu ni muhimu sana kwa nchi kwani unawezesha wahandisi wa HM kusajiliwa kwa wahandisi wa taala kwa mujibu wa washiria mheshimiwa mgeni rasmi aidha kupitia mradi Kwa ajili ya kusaidia mpango 